Welcome back where we are cooking with Thunder Bay Grill. All right, Valentine's Day is a great night to indulge a little with your sweetheart. The big day is just around the corner. Yeah, today Chef Mike is bringing the romance because Thunder Bay is offering a fabulous array of love-inspired entrees for the occasion. Great to see you, Mike. I'm sure you hear that all the time. He's always bringing the romance. Yep. But what's great is it's not just Valentine's Day. So if you're busy Valentine's Day or you're not able to make a reservation, can people still make reservations? Yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. can still make them for next Tuesday, Valentine's Day. Otherwise, you also are serving all these great dishes this Saturday before, which is this Saturday, the 11th. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a Tuesday. It's a weeknight. Not everybody wants to go out then to figure some people will be going out on the weekend prior. So yeah, these same entrees will be available on Saturday night for dinner as well. Awesome. Great. Okay. Saturday so is four months before my birthday. Oh, good to remember. So. Molly, on, on my calendar, I have a calendar at my desk, writes every month when I should shop for her birthday in preparation for June. Well, Lord knows you don't want to forget that. <laughs> you know, get the whole month, right? So <laughs> good, yes. Show us what you're making. Well, we're going to start off making a shrimp scampi flatbread. So okay. this is uh, a little something that, you know, people like to have shrimp on these sort of occasions. Um, we've got this delicious flatbread here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brush this with a combination of melted butter, a little bit of roasted garlic oil, which is olive oil that we smell roasted that whole good. cloves so of garlic good. in that oil. And then we pull the cloves out and you're left with this delicious oil, which is great for a lot of things. We've got some fresh herbs in there and then a little bit of lemon zest as well. And then okay. on top of that, we're going to go ahead and put on some of these shrimp. Uh, these are gulf shrimp, which I went ahead and filleted kind of across so that they're a little bit flatter. And I we're going to scatter those. I think they look a little creepy when they're see-through like this. When they're this, well, that's how you know that they're done is when you cook them and then they get a little bit Pink. of color and they're no longer White. creepy looking. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to go ahead. And, <laughs> they are though. That's, they are. That's, and what's weird is I didn't realize how different shrimp are in color, and I think it has to do with the depth of the water that they're pulled from. Like they're pink sometimes, or sometimes they're more of a brown color. Yeah, they are. And then when you get to the inside of them, they're all pretty much the same kind of translucent, Just like sort people. of creepy color, um, which we want to try to avoid. So <laughs> once we cook them, they are no longer going to be so creepy. So we're going to go ahead and put some Asiago cheese on top of there. Do, I, do you introduce these terms into the kitchen when you go back? I do. I go back Toast and I tell the, the guys, chicken. I say, you're not going to believe the new terms that we just stumbled across today. The creepy shrimp. These were, yeah. these were um, conceived out of love, right? In right, the kitchen romance. with me and the guys. We were yep. back there talking about love. <laughs> Figuring out how we could translate it. Do you put more love into the stuff you make for a plate. Valentine's Extra, Day? yeah. These these tomatoes right here are representative of the love that goes into this dish. Mm. So we're gonna go ahead and scatter those strategically across <laughs> the top of our flatbread. A little bit more fresh herbs, and then from there it goes into our oven. And I already have one in here that should be just about done right about now. Magic. So we put that into our oven. Look at that. We're gonna take this guy here, slide it out, and you can see what that looks like when it's done. Oh, no longer good. creepy. No longer creepy. They're nice and orange now. now. They look good. So from here we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy up. You step okay. back from my giant knife. Yeah. Oh, I love that afraid. you're doing triangles. Oh, that's a lot cool of how you so did that. that. Into triangles. Now once again I'm gonna take my magic knife here and okay. transfer this over to our board, which is what we serve nice. this on. That it's like so, and you have your delicious. shrimp scampi flatbread. You pass with a little me bit of those? fresh yes. extra herbs on that. Allow me to serve you, ladies. Oh, oh look, it's you. Which I want to go nice. from the middle. Nice and crispy mm. on the top. You got oh, the shrimp. You got a little bit of zest from the lemon. My teeth. You oh, got some garlic. Good. You got some herbs. You got a little bit of tomato. You got some mm -hmm. cheese. So all the flavors that you would traditionally find I'm in, make a, that at home. in a scampi. Put them on a flatbread, essentially like a pizza, and, and you're good to go. Mm, and then we're also going to have mine. some other features going on too that night. We're going to have mm, uh, chipotle roasted prime rib, which unfortunately I couldn't mm. bring along, but I did bring along the salmon that we're going to be having, which is Yum. stuffed with goat cheese, uh, bacon, and chopped spinach, drizzled with a little bit of hollandaise sauce and some fresh roasted vegetables. And then we also have a chocolate-covered oh, yeah. strawberry cheesecake, which is the specialty that? of Chef Dino. He put that one together for us mm. after many trials to get it exactly the way we wanted mm. with a little bit of fresh oh, yeah. strawberry oh, whipped cream. Mm. Uh, he's chocolate. the one who makes the omelets. Dino is the omelet guy, yes yeah. he is, and now he's the cheesecake guy too. Mm. Um, so yeah, we've got strawberry mm. cheesecake, strawberry whipped cream, chocolate whipped ganache cream on top good. of that, and that's gonna be the dessert feature. Mm. Oh gosh, everybody gets annoyed mm. big enough to do share, that. Big enough to share or be decadent, feel the love and get one for each mm. of you. Yeah, you gotta have dessert. Exactly. On Valentine's Day, I think. So all of these wonderful things, these Valentine's Day dinner features, including the dessert, 
are available this Saturday too. Yeah, Saturday the 11th and then on Tuesday the 14th. Yeah, because I think a lot of people want to go out on a Saturday yeah. night. Maybe Tuesday night you got the kids or you're busy with other Definitely. stuff from work. So I think that's wonderful. Definitely, mm -hmm. yep. And Fat mm. Tuesday is coming up too. Fat Tuesday right around the corner on uh, February 28th. Yeah, we're having our annual Fat Tuesday feast out at the restaurant. We're going to deck the whole place out in decorations. We're making alligator gumbo. We're making shrimp remoulade, of course. That's uh, my we're favorite. making Creole baked chicken, blackened fish, flaming bananas, pecan pie. Whoa. You name it. It's going to be the a J party. One. The, J, the jambalaya. The <laughs> I jambalaya. love any dessert that's on fire. Yeah, flaming bananas. I love it's got flaming. rum in it. It's got bananas, cinnamon, butter, uh, all served over ice cream. It's fantastic. Mm. Yeah, is that it's what really your nice. favorite Delicious. holiday to cook for? It, you know, to be honest with you, it probably is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I look forward to it all year. You, know, you love I, your Cajun I, stuff. I, I do. You. I love it. I want to start awesome. making my gumbo right away. Yeah. All right, and you heard Mike say it. There are still reservations available for Valentine's Day. So here's what you need to do, guys. Dave, are you listening? No, I'm not. Yeah, you, well, you should <laughs> Pay be. Pay attention. You got to take your wife out for Valentine's Day. Here's the number to call. It's 262-523-4244. Book it for Saturday night in advance. You have all this great stuff available. Book it for Tuesday. That's actually Valentine's Day. And then don't forget to put Fat Tuesday on your calendar, which is later this month on Tuesday, February 20th. A lot of big Tuesdays coming up. You got to add that flatbreadgrill.com to your regular menu. That winner? is a winner. Glad to hear Delicious. it. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you very All much. wonderful. Thank you so much, Mike. Can we call it the sh creepy shrimp flatbread? Uh, no, I don't think it would sell if I called it creepy. <laughs> it's not an adjective we try to put on Will the menu. Will somebody please ask for it like that when you go in and order? <laughs> <laughs> and make sure Mike comes out to your table to bring it. You're yes. a good sport, Mike. Uh, I love it. Thank love you. It.